Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano, with UMD. If you've ever wanted to create an animation, where one layer to composition follows another layer parenting is a technique you want to investigate. Let's start this off by watching the reference composition, so we can see what it is we're going to build in the project panel. In the finished reference composition folder double click on the finish reference comp, then press the space bar. Angle C we have a robot arm that animates him, and magnifies as the letter A onto the magnet. Now I just want to focus on this section of the animation the arm. So I've already animated A and the little magnet lightning bolts. So I'll press the spacebar stop playback. Let's go back to the control with parenting start composition. By clicking on it in the timeline here in the upper left corner. Now in order to build this. Let's set the relationship of these layers working from the bottom up. So the background there is fine it's not going to animate. So let's go to layer 5 the base layer, this is not going to innovate as well this is the base of the robot. Let's select arm 1, then press R to open the rotation parameter. Scrubbing the rightmost rotation parameter. And you'll notice the anchor point is in the wrong position. I want this to rotate around the center circle. So just under that last rotation go to the tool panel. And grab my pen behind tool. Now I can click on that anchor point and reposition it right in the middle of that circle. So now if I screw up with the rotation tool, you'll notice it's rotating properly, but this layer needs to follow that where this is where parenting comes in. So I'll grab my selection tool can just undo that last rotation. And I'll select arm 2 because I want arm 2 to follow arm 1. Soon apparently column for arm 2 and click on the little curly Q here. And hold my mouse down as I drag over to the name arm 1. Now arm 2 is following arm 1. Should be the same process select the top layer and have the top layer follow him too. So click on its pick whip included arm too. Now if I screw up you can see all the layers are moving together. So let's undo the lasso rotation here and set some keyframes. Then like here to hold down shift and click on layer 4, then press R to open the rotation parameter. And click on the stopwatch to set our first keyframe. Move the current time indicator to 15 frames on the timeline. And deselect all the layers just by clicking any entry space in between the layers. Now scrub on the rotation parameter for R1, until that layer is pretty much vertical in the scene. Also to a value of 69. Let's do the same thing here firm to scrub on the rotation value, until that arm is parallel to the ground plane. I'll send it to minus 17. It says the rotation for the top layer. So that the bottom of the magnet is parallel to the ground, as well also threaten minus 1. We scrub you can see we have successfully created our animation. I press the space bar you can see I even have the letter A popping into the scene. Well, press the spacebar gonna stop playback. Usually, these are stacked incorrectly, and the reason I didn't deal with that at first. It was because I like to set up the parent-child relationships with multiple layers from the bottom up. So we stack things according to how I wanted them to be linked. But now I can move my top layer below arm 2 saw click on the top, and move it below arm 2. Now that looks correct and what's like the magnetic a pre-cop in the position that below arm 1. Now we can see everything is actually set up properly and we successfully executed our animation. So when it comes time to working with parents and layers, it's always wise to pay attention to the location of the anchor points, especially when you're working with rotation. Here we go we are done for today. Leave your comment down below and tell me if the video was helpful or not, and if you have any advice to improve the content of the channel. I will be happy to see your comments. I hope you enjoyed it. If the video was helpful for you to hit on the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to turn the bell button on so you don't miss the next videos. And if you have time to learn more, look at the old videos on the channel. See you in a new video soon. Goodbye.